What is going on guys? Today we are playing Cops and Robbers again. Um, I have played about a week on this server without recording anything. Did a little bit of off-camera busting if you know what I mean. Um, I've gotten a little bit of money, kind of played around with a little bit. I've unlocked the uh, ability to do transport missions now so we don't always have to do Cops and Robbers stuff. Um, this is the newest vehicle. It is the Covet that is highly modified. Actually, not really highly, just, just regularly modified. Uh, same engine, bigger turbo, um, I think stage four, ultra heavy duty, you know, engine. Just, uh, I think upgraded cooling, maybe? Even possible? I don't, I'm not sure. I just put this turbo in, and I didn't adjust the PSI, so I have to do that because it's only doing 12 pounds, and it's like nowhere near where I want it. So we'll have to do that later. But, um,. Right now we are in pursuit of Mr. I like Subarus. He is uh, He's actually not doing too bad. He's only a level two right now But we're gonna bust him. Uh, US drifter is also a cop. He's chasing him as well. Let's try to catch up Oh no, oh no, okay. It looks like he wiped out. No, he's still going. We have successfully caught the bad guy Let's uh, let's respawn back at our base and let's um let's fix this turbo situation so i don't want to do too much boost just because my tires are still stock 30 pounds is fine boost is at 30 pounds let's see how it does with 30. definitely need to get some tires on there i think those stock tires are definitely um not going to last much longer especially with 30 pounds it would definitely help with the acceleration though. i think that's exactly what this car needed uh, I do still have the other one. I did a little modifications with that one as well, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, let's go back here into Mr. I like Subarus. I think US Drifter has the other guy. Oh, it looks like he hasn't even repaired himself yet. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> I am the best cop ever, dude. What you're about to witness is one of the best chases ever caught on camera. Oh, this guy's in trouble too. So I noticed that he was he was bad and then I hit him, right? So I turn around all confident like, yeah, yeah, I got him. It's gonna be a quickie too, look. Is he stuck? Oh yeah, he's stuck. No! Yeah, he yeah. Put it in full wheel drive. Yeah, now, now things get worse. So we pull up to the shop. We both fix our cars, right? So at this point, we've been already on the chase for like three minutes or so, uh, like limping it to the garage. So he waits for me. So. So he wants this chase. So good so far. Let's see if my 30 pounds of boost little Corvette can keep up with his D-Series. I'm over here like like pretending that I'm not going to be able to keep up. But you know, I got 30 pounds under the hood. So boy. far so good. I mean, he's almost going 100 miles an hour. So now we're getting on the highway. We've passed all the, the, the garbage city area. Here he tries to like slow down and I think he wanted to turn, but he realized that it was a bad idea. So he just floors it, dude. He's gone. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, it's been about another three minutes. I finally was like, all right, let's pit this dude. He stopped moving for a bit, and I'm like, okay, maybe his drive shaft is broken. But then he like quickly started moving. I'm like, nah, dude, this dude put it four wheel drive again. All right, the chase is on. We're in this subdivision. Get him stuck somewhere, but it is not working well. So in the subdivision, like we're speeding, like tandem drifting these roads, and I'm just trying my best to like knock him into a freaking house or something. This dude will not budge. Over here, I thought he was going to turn, but he made the quick brain decision of like pulling to the sewers. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck here, dude. My morale is already low. My over, my car was already overheating. I'm like, I can't go in these sewers, bro. This is not the place I need to be. I do not have sewer suspension. <laughs> and so he does the unthinkable here, though. I'm so grateful this thing turned out the way it did. Oh, that's it. That's it for him. Yeah. Yeah, that is so it for him. Damn, that's tough. Yo, that's 10 grand in the bank. There you go. There you go. Thought he could get away. Mm -mm -mm. A few hours go by and I've just been defeated, man. I've, I haven't been having a good day. Uh, so I come in here. I'm looking at the, the the dream police car, the Bastion. I'm like, which one should I get? I literally click on it, right? Just to see the price and see how much I have to work for. Because I remember it being more expensive. And it spawns the vehicle. But then it just like 
it just like pays for it. I'm like, bro, what the? <laughs> like, I'm glad this is the one I wanted, but I would have been mad if it was like a pigeon or something. And I spent 50k on a pigeon. <laughs> so after playing for a little bit, I realized that the detective skin is just a body color and it doesn't actually recognize you as a cop, which kind of sucks because the detective skin looks pretty lit. But that brings us what today, what the vehicle looks like, and I'll show you. All right, so this is it. This is the dream police car. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it's in reverse. <laughs> oh. So as you can tell, my voice is uh, is pretty shot. <laughs> I did my best to try to get a video out. Um, uh, let me know if you guys like the editing style. I think uh, I tried something a little bit different, but uh, definitely love this thing, dude. Uh, when you when you have when you play this game, you know, you just kind of crash these cars around. But when you're doing like an RP server, you have to really like choose about what vehicle you get. And so when I made the decision, I definitely wanted to go all wheel drive. I definitely wanted to go something like V8. I didn't want to do the 6.5 engine. I like the 5.7 because it's nice and tamed. Doesn't overheat over nothing. Uh, I'm sure you can do the all wheel drive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know you can do all wheel drive in the other version, but I just wanted something a little less i didn't want it like every time i accelerated like just burnouts you know like i wanted something a little more realistic so uh yeah i went with this one um i do have the stage three supercharger on it i didn't go turbocharged and then i did the so i did i did something pretty cool actually uh let me see if i can pull up the specs hold up i'll open the engine for you so you guys can see the the supercharger <laughs> um so but as far as specs go didn't really change anything cosmetic wise i just did a lot of suspension upgrades and brakes upgrades so i did the, the best brakes you could really do on these things which is the the front yeah the race front brakes that's the one i did for the front and the rears i did the same thing uh and the front had heavy duty like ultra heavy duty shocks and they were great like i was not complaining about them but my issue was the car was too low dude like i would not even kidding i would drive on a curve and i would like just just like obliterate the, the rear end like underneath like the carriage would just like break <laughs> the bumper would scrape on everything and now I can hop on a curb, no problem. I'm gonna do it one more time. I can hop on a curb, like no problem. So I did the rally brakes. The side skirts still break, but that's not a problem. <laughs> uh, I did the rally brakes and I just went a little bit higher on the height, kind of stiffened up the suspension so it handled the bumps. Because believe it or not, right? Like it might be crazy. Some of you might be watching this like, dude, it's just a game. <laughs> but you gotta understand like, you put a lot of hours into the into the uh, the cops and robbers thing. I, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Like, uh, pretty pretty legitimate about it. <laughs> I'm not on there right now because it is kind of laggy. Um. So, but yeah, uh, but yeah, when you're going up those ramps or those hills right there, I'll show you. Like, if you're going full speed chasing someone, you you kind of want that like better suspension because when you slam down, dude, if you don't got something good. Look at that. That's see, it's still not a hundred percent. I still need to tune it because I just got it. I just got it done. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love this thing. This thing is amazing. I think the next vehicle is definitely going to be a D series. Uh, but yeah, you guys, stick around. If you guys want to see more uh, cops and robbers content, let me know. I am going to do some live cops and robbers. I think that's going to be pretty cool playing it live. 